Hey, what's going on? It's uh, about 6.30 in the morning now on uh, Friday, the 14th day of October 2011, and uh, just got off work a little while ago. The sun hadn't even come up yet. It's just barely even uh, getting daylight outside. So anyway, just got off work. I didn't really sleep a whole lot yesterday, but I had some things on my mind that I thought I'd go ahead and put on a video and uh, talk to you about that. And uh, I'd like to get some opinions on this, okay, because what I'm about to talk about, I know a lot of you guys have uh, done before, and I just kind of want to get some ideas on this, but it's given me some ideas on brainstorming. And I've been sitting here racking my brain, you know, thinking about what can I do to better advertise my DJ service. You know, I'm, I'm a, a member of a local uh, bridal magazine, and uh, of course I also got the website and the Facebook page. And uh, you know what I'm thinking, maybe that really isn't enough. And I decided to try maybe a wedding show. And I've heard, you know, great success from other vendors I've talked to around here. I had one uh, one of my vendors, a, a photographer, who said that they booked their whole 2011 calendar at the wedding show that they had at the Pensacola Civic Center this past January. And so he said that he got all of his um, potential uh, brides and, uh, and booked every single gig for the entire year at that one show alone. Now, I don't know if I'd have that much success, but, I, but you know, it started, started me thinking a little bit. I've never done a wedding show before, a bridal show. And I thought, well, you know what, maybe it's time that I get involved in that. So we've got one coming up in January, and I've decided that I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. And of course, the price that what they're charging for it, I'm not really going to say what that is. But let me just put it to you this way: if I book one gig from uh, from that one bridal show that day, that'll take care of the cost of, of what it would be to be in the show. So, you know, they they estimate that probably about 2,000 brides will be coming through there. Uh, it's going to go from like 11 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And so, you know what, I thought that might be a great uh, advertising opportunity you know, because I could, I could sit there and actually meet with the brides and grooms and talk to them personally and maybe, you know, uh, have some video going of some of my gig logs or something like that on a computer that's right there beside me. So, anyway, this is kind of what I'm thinking about doing, okay? Now, I want, to, I want to get some opinions on this and you guys tell me what you think, okay? What I'd like to do is, of course, they'd be providing me with a table. I'm going to go ahead and just put my DJ set up there. You know, the facade, the black facade, I'm going to put that uh, in front of the table. And uh, I'm going to take my two smaller speakers, the Pro L's. I'm not going to take the big JBL's there just because I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of room. I think I'm going to have like a, a space between uh, 8 feet and 10 by 10 feet. So anyway, or 10 feet by 8 feet, however you say that. But... Um, Anyway, what I was thinking about doing is setting up the table and uh, setting up the uh, facade right there in front of it and then having those two small 12-inch Pro L's there and uh, you know having those uh, as the uh, sound system and then maybe having the gobo projector shining behind me with my company logo on it now wouldn't that be awesome you know and i could tell the brides when they come up i could say you know what take a look at this gobo projector right here behind me see how we got our logo we can make your initials that and it could be a good upsell for that you know and maybe have like the megapixels behind that with maybe a little bit of up lighting or something like that so anyway you know i'm just kind of brainstorming some ideas there and um i think that, that would really help so i'm just kind of you know really wanting to get some suggestions so if any of you guys have any suggestions on what uh, you've done or maybe you got some video that you'd like to post on uh, going to a wedding show and what you've done I would really like to see that if I could I mean because like I said this is gonna be my first time ever doing this and I've decided I want to try and doing that you know I've been I've had my mobile DJ business now eight years and never gotten into a bridal show and I thought you know what now's the time to do it you know I may be able to book some gigs and maybe able to uh, to really help out but I'm but that's just kind of something I'm brainstorming with on uh, on what I'd like to do but you know what 2,000 brides coming through there you know you're bound to book some weddings from that and, uh, you know, like I said, I can wear my suit and tie and, you know, look good and uh, make sure that the system looks good and all that good stuff. And maybe have just like the Revo 3 out, uh, you know, kind of shining out just, you know, as a little backup light or something like that. I'm not really sure, though. You know, we'll just have to wait and see, um, you know, how much room I've got there. But anyway, like I said, I've been brainstorming about all that and, uh, you know, just thinking about what I could do on that. So anyway, any ideas, thoughts, whatever you got, please uh, feel free to drop a comment right down here. And uh, let us know, or if you got a video response, or you got some video from a bridal show that you could share, uh, please feel free to do that as well. So anyway, I'm going to get some sleep. I got a busy day and a busy weekend ahead. So until next time, practice and enjoy.